guys. So, as you can probably tell, I'm not wearing any makeup. And my hair's pulled back. So, Pepper. Callie, where are you going? Go walk away from mommy. Pepper. She's like, this is going to be a disaster. I'm not having any part of this. So, as you can tell, completely barefaced. And I have my hair pulled back. So, I actually think I'm going to put my hair back a little bit more. With a headband. Don't ask me what's talking about. I have a tiny head. Anyway, so I'm gonna try to do this video in one shot, but we all see. So far, I have yet to be able to make a video in one shot, but we're gonna see if we can do it. All right, so first of all, I have all of this makeup, and we're gonna put it on my face and see how awesome it can look. By the way, wait, I can't hang that back up. So, by the way, I don't think anybody is ugly, and I don't think I'm ugly. I actually really like the way that I look, and I think I'm beautiful. I think all of God's creatures are beautiful. And I'm just trying to enhance it. I'm using art to enhance my beauty. So we're gonna get started. First thing I've got here is a rapid clear from Neutrogena and it's a face lotion. So I'm gonna put that on my fingers if it'll come out. I think I'm gonna have the camera back a little bit. It's a little too close for comfort. And I'm just gonna dab a little bit of each other on all of the small areas of my face and rub it in. That didn't work. I tried to pause the recording and it didn't work. So there's that. I also like to use this Clear Cell Rapid Action Treatment Cream. Yeah. It's tinted. That's what I was looking for. I'm sorry if I like pause a lot of my videos because I can't think and do at the same time as I'm doing right now. So there's that. I just put that on the blemish on the guy and cleared them out. Okay, so now that we're moisturized and pimple covered. I'm gonna start with some liquid. Why do I have that? I don't need makeup. Some liquid foundation. And honestly, I don't remember what this was. I know I got it from Walmart and I like the pumps. So, but not all the cheap stuff comes in pumps. Actually, the really expensive stuff comes in pumps. So I bought this one off of Amazon and it's a airtight seal. So it uses air to suck this little plunger thing up and it uses no straw and it pushes the foundation out of the pump. And I think this thing is so awesome. I can use it with any foundation. All I do is wash out. So, Way down, get started. And I like to pump it on the back of my hand and get my brush. This brush is from Wet n Wild and it's just a flat top, like really short brush. I don't even know what this is called. Okay, <laughs> I just use it and mostly because it was inexpensive. So I'm gonna take a dab of my brush off the back of my hand and I'm just gonna spread it around my facial, facial structures. God, I cannot talk. Y'all, I'm like a horrible speaking. And this is why, like, my brain and my mouth just don't connect fast enough. Spit it on my forehead. Don't forget to kind of snipe it up into your hairline and spread it on your neck because you don't want them faces bare white or your face bare white and your neck like tanner or something. <laughs> tanner! Danny Tanner. I'm gonna take just like a little squirt out of my bottle and put it on my nose, my chin, and my upper lip. Anything extra I have is going on my eyelids. I just do that to make sure that like, I don't have any. I don't miss anything like, around my eyes. So there's that. I'm sorry, this video has like started out like I don't know anything about what I'm doing. Next, I'm gonna get my powder foundation and my concealer. And this concealer, I know some people put it on their face first, but I just don't roll like that. Okay, so I'm getting this concealer. It's a Maybelline concealer, and it is in the color Fair. It's called Powder Stick. And we don't put this on my face next. So I'm just starting at the corner, the inner corner of my eye, and spray it out. I literally just got this concealer like yesterday, and I find it really awesome. I'm going to dab a little bit on that spot, dab a little bit in the crease of my nose, and I totally hate my frown so we're going to put a little bit on that. Again, the corner of my nose, and I do my eyelids, starting at the inner corner, sweeping out. And I know some cosmetologists are going to frown upon my frown. But I'm gonna use my favorite blender out. I hear one of the cats eating. I think it's Pepper. Because she hasn't left my room in months. I think probably since my surgery. Like, she's just like obsessed with my day bed. And I think it's because like she really loves the feel of the quilt that's on it. And I don't understand. It's microfiber, it's not that comfortable. I don't think they're that comfortable. Because every time we take the quilt off, she gets mad and moves to my bed. All right, I think that concealer blended out pretty good. What do y'all think? So next, I'm gonna try and use this giant sponge thing, and I'm gonna powder my face to set all of this mess. 
And the powder foundation I'm using is from L'Oreal Paris, and it's called True Matte. And this is in the shade, what shade is this? A soft Ivory. And as you can tell, it's just a very light colored ivory. I was trying to go for like, the lightest color I could find because I'm very pale. But that's okay, I appreciate that too. So, I just take this and dab it over my face. And hopefully, I have so many wrinkles in my old because I'm always making faces, like trying to stretch out my face to put on makeup. And I'm just ridiculous, like, that's not the only reason I have wrinkles, but we gonna find out one day, hopefully, not soon. But I just take the powder and wipe it all over my face and neck, any place where I just put either liquid foundation or concealer. And I'm doing this just to say, be sure to put it on your neck because if you don't, then your liquid foundation is going to rub off on all of your clothes. I don't know what that's from. What else? It's makeup. So, I know this might be playing outside, but, but I'm really not. And again, try and push that powder up into the hairline to make sure that everything is set, because you definitely don't want it in your hair. So, we got powder, and we all move on to some highlight, concealer, and blush. This is my favorite part of doing my makeup. And again, I'll be using a Wet n Wild brush, and this one is just like a flat top brush, I think. Like, that's all that's to it. So, I'm gonna start out with some concealer, and I just love concealer, it's so fun. And I'm gonna start up here, just under my eye. If you have to, you can make a fish face to like show your cheekbone. And that's where you should be applying it. Some people apply it too high, some people apply it too low, you don't want to be doing that, okay? You just want to have it under your cheekbone. I keep trying to look in the camera at my makeup, and it's not working because there's like a glare on me. Oh, I forgot again. By the way, this palette is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette, and it is in the shade, I just threw in here, it is in the shade Caramel Toffee. I don't know where they come up with like names for highlighters and like makeup shades, like, especially with like foundation, I never know what I'm looking at. Like, the names are supposed to mean something, and I'm like, I have no idea what I'm looking at. But, anyway, we're gonna take a little concealer, and basically, Concealer. This is not concealer, this is highlighter. You're gonna take it and put it anywhere in your face that the light hits. Some people like to do their brow bone in the middle. I don't know why. And when you're doing your nose, you wanna come down the bridge of your nose and stop where this little like end of your nose comes out. Because there's like a little bump there. You wanna stop there and then take it in the tip of your nose. And that gives that creates a little contouring in here. In here, which yeah, I kinda want. At least I do. Some girls may not like that. If you don't, just put concealer, I mean highlighter, all the way down your nose. I prefer to do it a little more naturally, so like I said, we're just trying to enhance the way I look. So, as you can see, my nose kind of comes to a point here. So I'm just trying to leave that out, and it usually doesn't work, but whatever. And my cupid's bow, and put some on my chin. Then I'm gonna go back over with my flat top and blend all that out. And you know, like there's probably some like official way to blend. And I usually just swirl my brush. Uh, it's like my concealer or my blush. Oh, I forgot to put highlighter under my eyes. If it's like my concealer brush, like I'll go in the motion of the lens. But for the most part, like it's like my foundation or my concealer or my powder i just wave that all around so we're done with the contouring highlighting next comes my second favorite part and then is the blush and this brush blush is from milani and it's a powder blush and this is in the color number eight and it is tea rose yeah probably can't say that because it's backwards but as you can see the powder is in the shape of a rose obviously they do a little bit better job at this but once you start using it it wears down the design so we gonna take some of those, just switch my brush around. Yes, I'm using the same brush that I used for my contour highlight. And we're gonna tap that in. I used to use a fan brush once, and when I tried this, you wait through, like, it just barely just spins the color, whereas the fan brush was like, color! <laughs> so, we're done with our blush, and we're done with this brush. Blush, brush, blush, brush. Next, we're gonna move on to our eyes. And, let's see, I got something not unusual, because I'm crippled right now. And everything I draw. It's like its own escapade to try and pick up. Alright, my eyes blunt stuff. And we all see if I can get it right today because there's one specific thing that I'm trying to get done. I'm trying to like start using. And so far, not happening because I keep confused about it. So, the first thing I do when I do my eyes, don't freak out. I'm not putting on my mascara first. I'm actually gonna take this makeup. I don't know if you can see it. We all gotta look at it. This is my curling iron. It's actually an instyler, and I'm going to take my mascara, I'm going to try it on my curler, take my mascara, put it in between the barrels, and then I'm also going to do the same thing with my eyelash curler. Look at this thing, isn't it adorable? It's like a mini eyelash curler, and I find it so much more functional than the traditional eyelash curler. I just found that the other day too. So while those are heating up, 
we all do our eyeshadow and eyebrows and our eyeliner. Can't forget about eyeliner. That's the most important part. So, then that came back to where it was. And we're going to put on some primer. This is Elf Primer, and it is in the shade Sheer. And it is going to rub that all over my eyelids. And some people do not use primers, but you should because they are very important to making sure that your eye makeup and your foundation lasts all day. So, let's take a little bit of that. Rub it all over. Make sure you get the corners, the inside corners of your eye, so that, you know, it, it helps even out the skin color, okay? Like, even if you're not putting makeup there, put primer there because it will help to even out your skin tone. And next, I like to do this trick with translucent powder. And this is, I guess it's from no Novo. It's like some Asian makeup. Anyways, and it says it's calm makeup powder. I don't know what that means. I don't know how makeup powder can be calm or exciting. Does that mean that it comes like exciting? Anyways, this is their Tokyo Seduce, and this is in the color one. And that, that's literally all it says. It's in the color one because it's translucent. So I'm gonna take that, take out the sponge applicator, and then I'm gonna take another wet and wild brush. And this is just a um, blender brush. And I take that, dip it in a little bit of this powder that's around the edges, tap some off. And I'm going to put it all over my eyelid. Oh yeah. And the reason I'm doing this is to make my eyeshadow blend so much better. Like I used to not do this. And it was like my eyeshadow was just stuck in one place. And this here, it doesn't take away the tackiness of your primer. It just allows your eyeshadow to blend better. Kelly So now we're gonna take our Tokyo Seduce, which is like the oddest name for the color. The foundation, whatever this is. And we're going to set it to the side because we're going to come back to that. And after we're done with this blender brush, we're going to come back to it too. What, honey? What do you want? You love this mommy. Okay. Oh, I did forget about this part too. I like to do this just so that my eyeshadow is a little more vibrant. And what this is, is it's an LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil. And it is in the color Seashells. So, I'm just going to take this, spread it all over my direct eye. I don't know what this is called. Like this part, the bottom part of my eyelid, and not the top because you don't really want them colors to be vibrant. But we're going to take this to spread it all over. We're trying to make it white and it's not coming off very easily. If you want, like, if you ever have product, like cream product, that's looking a little bit better. And it doesn't want to, like, come off on your skin. You can always, always, always take some heat to it. Whether it's a candle, a curling iron, a hair dryer, whatever. You have to stick in the microwave to do it. Hi, baby. Getting kisses. Please don't burn my makeup. Instead, you're going to get in the trash. Okay. No. Kelly, no. Thank you. So, I'm done with this eye pencil. I lost track of what I was saying. So if I cut off mid-sentence, I'm sorry. Now, the eyeshadow I'm using right now is... Actually, I'm going to do this first. So, I'm getting this color from Ron Norman. And this is the shade Champagne. And it's just, like, a semi-white color. So, literally, I've had this color for, like, 10 years. And, like, I used to not be into makeup like right now. But this color, like, literally, I just broke through to the bottom today. That's how the, like, I used to makeup like but anyways, I'm gonna take this color, switch my brush around it, and I'm gonna apply it all over my eyelids, mostly on my top. And we're gonna do the same to the other eye. This is not only gonna provide a nice base color, but it's also going to work for like my upper upper lid up here. Like not my brow bone, but right under it. That's something different I like to do. Okay? Now I don't care. Alright, this is just a tutorial on how I do my makeup. I don't care how you do yours, right? And if you like something, I don't care if it's not in style. There's several things I'm about to do to my eyeballs that is not in style anymore. Or it's not in style yet. So, just do what you like, all right? You don't have to be fashionable all the time. Even models don't follow all the, all, all the time. I just get my eyeshadow. Okay, we're back. I, so, the eyeshadow palette I'm using right now is from Urban Identity. Not to be confused with Urban Decay, because they know I got time for that example stuff. And this is their palette shadow trio. Can you say that? Is it going to focus? No. Okay. Anyways, I promise it's shadow trio. And this is the color pink. And we're going to be using all three colors in this color. I'm going to remember my paper this time. So this is just like a little sticker thing. Like spare stickers I needed for my um, emergency bracelet. Put in the cover. And I just use it to point my eyeshadow up. So first, we're going to be taking this lightest color. And we all switch our brush around that. This color actually has like a light pink to it. And then like kind of gold sparkles and we're gonna take that all over our top brow you want you can put a little bit on your did i say top brow i meant top eyelid lost the word for a second so we're gonna take this color all over eyelid <clears throat> if you can't tell it's already starting to point up but it's gonna point up even more than we have darkly 
Switch. Even to the other eye. Switch this all around my eye. Get my big clump there when it's stuck. Get it more to cover my under my brow bone. Okay, next we're going to take the darkest color. And that's going to be our crease and outer corners. See, this stuff is pretty potent. So, I try not to get too much, but I want enough that it's going to look decent. Okay, we're going now. Alright, so I'm going to take this color straight in the middle of my eye. And fan it out to your outer corners. And kind of just spread it all around your... I cannot think, y'all, like, what are words? Crease. <laughs> You're going to put it all in your crease. Like so. Alright. Go back in. And do the other eye. Again, starting in the middle of your eyelid and pushing it out to the outer corners and taking it to the little bit in, being sure to blend. And finally, we're going to take this medium color, and that is actually going to be our eyelid color. So, I'm going to switch the brush around and do this all again. This time, I'm going to take it to the outer corner, and I do not remember where I learned this trick of putting a little dark color underneath, but I don't think it's working with this trio. So, in a minute, I'm going to go back over the outer corner. Does that look too tall? No. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the darkest color again. I guess this trick isn't going to work for this palette. That works a lot better. Again, I'll take it into the crease. Forgot that word again. And we're gonna wag over the other. To the outside. And rub some in your crease! I don't know why I do that. I probably waste so much product. <laughs> but I can't stand there being powder on it. There being like loose powder on a palette. And finally, as far as my eyeshadow, I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Mega Eyes. Can you see that title? And this is in the color 251, and it's cream. Again, I've had this for a very long time. And this color is just like a very shimmery, light yellow that didn't do a thing for the lighting. It's just like a light yellow and very, very shimmery. So I'm going to take my brush, swirl it around, and... And I'm going to tap it right under my brow bone. And see how much more natural that looks. Do it to the other eyebrow. And I like, some girls do their, or some people, trying to use correct terminology, some people do their eyebrows and their brow bone first before doing their eyeshadow and I don't like doing that because like I feel like I would get all this eyeshadow in my eyebrow so there's the eyeshadow my chair is broke uh, every time I lean back in it like I just like think I'm gonna fall and finally Top my brows off. We gonna use this Wet n Wild Color Icon Brow Pencil, and it's in the colors Blonde Moments. What is all over my finger? I don't know what a blonde moment is and why you would want to have one, but I'm gonna sharpen my pencil up here. As you can tell, I use a lot of Wet n Wild products, and that's because they're so cheap. Like, they're really good drugstore makeup company, and they're really good at what they make, and they also sell it really cheap, so I appreciate it. Now I'm going to take this brow blender brush, and I'm going to set it aside not putting it up because we're going to use it again in a minute so do my brows and i just wound up in my makeup 
one. Pouch. So, I don't sell this down a little bit so hopefully you can see a little more detail as you can see like my brows are very thin they're not very dark and then i put makeup over top of them and foundation and they're just not decent so we all brush our eyebrows up and then i did take the spoolie. That's what I love about this thing. It has a spoolie on the other end of it. So, I'm going to go in. And I don't like feathering. Is that what it's called? Or whatever, where you like go up in tiny strokes. I can never do that. Okay? It just all blends together. <laughs> what I do like is making my eyebrows squared off. I don't know why I like that. Like, normally. I like... Things that are really natural. But, with that, it already looks ten times better. And take the spoolie. Just outline your eyebrow. Take the spoolie. Around it, blend it into... Your brow. And then, I like to color in any bare spots, which it doesn't really look like I have any. I need my eyebrows done, so don't, like, pay any attention to me. Alright, we're gonna do the same thing to the other eyebrow. Cause, you know, you want to look symmetrical. You don't want one side of your face done and the other side not. And just walk you through. Take the spoolie, brush all my brows up. And then I brush the tail down. Because don't nobody want their brow tail going up. Anyway. I look like a hot mess. Oh, it smells like my makeup is burning. It smells like my makeup is burning. So, again, go outline the brow. Is it just me or is it harder for everybody to do the opposite side of their face? Like, if you're right-handed, it's harder to do the left side of your face. And if you're left-handed, I imagine that it's righter harder to do the right side of your face. Y'all have to ignore half the stuff I say. Cause I never can get the words out right. Oops. Chancy I can get rid of it. I'm covering all the bare spots. Lost that word again. As you can tell, like I'm still really nervous about being in front of the camera because I feel like I'm in front of an audience. I don't know what that's about. That's weird. And when I brows darker than the other, so we gotta go back over my other eyebrow. That is lighter. Okay. No matter how hard you try. I don't care how hard you try. It doesn't matter. You mess something up. It's just. Gonna be there. Like. I'm gonna take this corner. Make it more sharp. Bring it down a little bit more. That's worse. What did I just do? Ugh. This is what happens when your eyebrows aren't done. You just, you don't even know what to do. So, 
Because now this brow is darker. It's like you can't, at least for me, it's like I can't find my eyebrow. So there's that. I think I've fixed that disaster as much as humanly possible. But you never take away brow or eyeliner pencil. Brow, eyeliner, mascara, you can't take that off. You have to like wash your entire face and start all over. So we're gonna put the brow pencil up. And next I have cream eyeliner. My back hurts. And this cream eyeliner is from e.l.f. It's not gonna focus again. And this is on the color whoops coffee. I'm gonna see if my camera will focus on it. Nope. Okay. So, I have like an entire collection of these pencils, or these brushes. Like, I have a whole collection of them. And they're not <laughs> branded. Like, they're just a generic, I guess, um, bl brushes. But I don't care, like, I feel like one bl brush is the same as another. Like, you can achieve the same effects. You just gotta know what you're doing. Okay? So I'm gonna take this pen. This is an eyeliner brush, by the way. And I'm just gonna barely, like, barely scrape it through there. And, again, <laughs> we're gonna make a disaster. So... I don't do a cat eye, but I do take a little bitty line out from my lower lash. And I do that because my eyes really sag. Like, even if you look at them now, like, this one is lower than this one. I'll show you more in a minute. It will look better. So. We'll put some dotted lines. And I'm going to come in from that, that end of that line. And into my inner corner. And the only thing I don't think about this is that you use up all of the product that's on the brush. Whereas, like, traditional eyeliners, not really traditional, like, liquid liners and pens, they just, like, keep going. So, I'm gonna take it out from my cor inner corner. And... I'm going to follow the dotted lines. And I can never draw a straight line. Like, literally, girls on YouTube make it, like, so easy. And it's not. They just draw a line. It's perfect. I can't do that. Like, I have to, like, go over it six times. Stop moving there. To get it perfect. And after I go over the lines, I'm just going to color it in, which kind of sort of happens as I'm doing it. So, 
Here's my eyeliner. And I found this is the best way to do it. Like, I know like some girls use cat eyes or winged liners or whatever. And it just doesn't do it for me. I feel like that makes you look older. At least it does me. Like if you can pull it off and you look super cute and young, do it. <laughs> Y'all hear her? She's like woke up and decided that her paw was dirty and then went back to sleep. Like did <laughs> like ones and then went back to sleep. Dashes. Um, this one looks like it's be a lot thicker. The hair in my eyeliner. I'm just coloring it in. Well, thank you. I did not just wipe on my nose. Yep, that is so much bigger and darker than the other side. So I'm going to go back in, even them out. And as it turns out, this side didn't turn out as good the first time. I'm just like... There we go! I think that's better. It's not even anymore. It's still not even. Yes. Normally I wouldn't do my brows. My ending is that deep and dark. But sometimes you can't help it. Like you said, like I said, it's harder to take it off than it is to just look dark and demented for a day, you know. So I'm going to put that in. Next, I'm going to go in with this CoverGirl Perfect Points Plus Eyeliner. And this is in the color Onyx Black, number 200. And I'm just going to take this under my waterline. And I know this is one of those things I was talking about. I know under eyeliner isn't as popular anymore. Especially black or brown under eyeliner but I look like a witch but I still like black eyeliner like I feel like it looks makes me look edgy I look like a witch. Oh my goodness. I don't think they're so bad. But that's okay. This is just a t tutorial. You can always take off all your makeup and start over. Just makeup. And it's not the end of the world. I don't smudge that out or anything. I just put it on and leave it. So next, I'm pretty sure this eyelash curler is hot. And it is. I got this cute little eyelash curler from Revlon. It's a mini curler. So, 
and go in, put on my eyelashes. I like to hold it for a second. And I like the eyelash color because it also um, cleans off your lashes a little bit. I feel like it dusts them off some. Kind of make these even. And it's not working. Okay. Done with that. Finally. We're going to go in with Lash Blast Volume. From CoverGirl. I'm about to say there's not a color in it. And this is in the color black brown. See, I like this look with my eyes because it looks edgy and dangerous. Which, if you know me, I am very dangerous. As described by my broken ankle right now. So, I'm just going to put some mascara on. And I know... Some girls like to apply falsies or false lashes. Do we still call them falsies? I don't know. I've never used them. Like, I think I did when I was like five or six. But it was a disaster. Mostly because I was five and six. And I always do my bottom lashes. But some girls like false eyelashes. I never understood that. Like, I don't know. I'm really happy with my eyelashes. I don't need them to be any thicker. I don't need them to be any more voluminous. I just need them there. This tube is so hot from sitting in there and my, my curling iron. Alright, I think we're good. <sighs> so, now that everything is put up. We gonna do this number. Oh! Uh, <laughs> okay, so I really can't tell what this is. I think it's Wet n Wild Color Icon Lip Liner. And this is in the color Brandy, I think. And we gonna line our lips. Now, I do not go all the way out to the corners. Because I heard somewhere that that makes your frown lines dim deeper. But I do overline my lips just slightly. Do the cupids bow and fan out from there. I'm stupid, don't y'all listen to me. Okay. Just do whatever I like. Yeah. And that's how you should live your life. Just do what you want. Don't worry about what other people think. Don't worry about what they say. I could care less. So next, we have Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. Oh yeah. I'm obsessed with matte. And this is in the color HD Kisses. And as you can tell, it's really dark. But that's okay, because I like it. And I'm just going to spread this all over 
my lips starting in the middle and fanning out I'm really happy with my bottom lip like it looks pretty big like Kylie Jenner or whatever who started in that cramp was it Kylie I don't know now as you can see this isn't very matte which makes me sad but that's okay because we will make it matte AF I we're gonna go back to our Tokyo seduce and translucent and again we also got a little sponge out I like to shake it don't know why this is gonna be so funny. But this is like my holy grail of makeup. They, I used to not wear makeup at all. And I used to not wear lipstick at all. Just because like it rubs off so quick. Like it's impossible to keep it on all day. But this has saved my life. So. We're gonna tap that on our lips. Okay. This is called setting your lipstick. And it's going to save you so much time and energy and frustration. I'm just like so over using lipstick. Simply because it rubs off so quick. But you can set your lipstick and it's gonna make it super matte and then I go back in with my blender brush and just blend that powder out it's gonna get on your lips it's gonna get on your cheeks and around your mouth but that's okay because it's translucent and you can just wipe it off and you can just wipe it off I don't know I don't like the amount of powder that's in it. I'm going to put a little bit more on. And hopefully, make it last just a little bit longer. I'm in love. I love lipsticks so much since I found this trick. It's like, it's like I said, it's my holy grail of makeup. So we're gonna clean that up now. And we're done. I think I look pretty hot. <laughs> Alright, so this is how I do my makeup. If you don't like it, lump it. Um, we're done for today, so if you'd like, and you're not already, or you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below, and like my video. Thank you, and have a good day.